Hey, hey, welcome to episode 34 of my blind RS3 Iron Man playthrough. Thanks for bearing with me. Last week I had my stream PC completely fry on me, so I wasn't able to get a video edited for last weekend. I went ahead and made this one two hours to compensate. Continuing the archaeology grind here, I'm also going to be doing Rune Memories and Defender of Verok to get access to some more material caches for archaeology. As usual, I recorded the quests in their entirety, uh, so there'll be a time code in the description if you just want to skip to a quick summary of the two quests, rather than watch a big, long, unedited quest sequence. And that's all I got. Let's get to the playthrough. All right, Ariane, I've left you here for, like, actual months. You ready to keep going? I think I'm close to finding out what happened here. I could use your help again if you're interested. I want to cast a spell on the source of the power beam. I think it'll tell me who removed the enchantment and released the vortices into the tower. I don't know exactly what'll happen though, so I'd like you here in case things go wrong. Happy to help. Sounds good. Okay, let's see. Abak Distine Cal Mentor. Ah, oh dear. I must have miscast the spell. Hair is really funny looking. I can't seem to move. Got like Goku oh, hair now. I think I'm stuck in the power beam. I think I'll be released if you can disrupt the source of the power beam. Actually, I've already got an idea about how you could do that. If we were to recreate the ritual that created the power beam, that would disrupt it and release me. Take these runes. Use the fire rune on a red vortex and the air rune on a grey one. If I'm right, you'll see something happen. Alright, let's give it a try. So fire rune on the red one. Charged it. Okay, and then we talk to her again? It worked, I thought so. It's just a matter of picking the right rune type. You're holding soul fragments of two of the wizards who lived in the old tower. My idea is that if you put these in places in the tower where these wizards once were, you can trigger memories of what oh, happened. Oh, like rune memories. You should start Aha. by using them on the chairs in the library. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I didn't come back here last time. We have different chairs, so we just put them on the same colored chair, presumably. Okay, it's easy enough. What Zanmaran got you working on now? Enemies of the Order must taste the flames of our wrath. I thought your Order perfected attack spells decades ago. Isn't Surge the theoretical maximum? Neat. It's not about power. I'm looking at ways to make the spells bypass defenses. Can't be done. Isaacan proved you've got to have line of effect. I know. It's one of Zanmaran's impossible problems. I meant to try to solve it to learn why it can't be solved. That's what I can't work out. I can't see what's wrong with my solution. Let me see. May? You're bypassing line of effect by angling the spell through secondary plane using runes of law. I mean, it's not a complete solution, but the principle is... Do you know what you've got here? What do you mean? I think you might have solved the teleportation That's kind of cool. That's not funny, May. I'm serious. We should show this to Azris. She spent years trying to crack the problem. She's written volumes on why it can't be done. If this is an elementary mistake, she'll have seen it before. And what if it's not an elementary mistake? Invented teleportation. Then she'll take it to the council, and you, my friend, will have a major school of magic named after you. Interesting. Okay. I do like the whole history of magic stuff. And the game is called RuneScape, so hearing more about runes is fun. Did it work? Have you managed to trigger a memory? Yeah. Amazing. I wish I could have seen it. That could have been the start of the breakthrough that led them to creating the power beam. I think we're on the right track. 
What was the teleportation problem? Most of the spells in the standard spellbook date back to the old tower. Combat spells were mostly created by red wizards, enchantment spells by blue wizards, and so forth. The only major exception are the teleport spells. The old wizards knew teleportation was possible, but they didn't learn how to create new spells until the last days of the old tower. Solving the teleportation problem changed everything. It let the wizards create the Lodestone Network, and the Rune Essence teleport spell meant the tower didn't have to rely on a delicate land route to get runes. <laughs> About that. I've prepared runes to hold the other six soul fragments. You'll need to use each rune on a vortex of the appropriate color. Okay. So we got blue on blue, and law on blue is also fine. Nature on green. Oh, I see what they're doing. That's kind of interesting. Treat earth and nature as being related. Chaos and fire are related. I guess cosmic and air go together. That's all of them. The leaders of oh, the shit, I mean to do that. Containing the soul fragments of the four masters in front of the statues of their orders, I think you should be able to trigger a memory. You be careful with the space bar; it skips through stuff really fast. The law, nature, chaos, and cosmic runes contain the soul fragments of the masters of the four orders. You'll need to place each rune in front of the statue representing that master's order. The orders were associated with different elements. Blue wizards with water, green with air, red with fire, and grey with air. If you examine the statues, you should be able to see those elements. Okay, sounds good. I keep trying to surge, and it's not, it's not used down here. I think they're saying back in the starting room, I guess. These statues, right? Robe stream in the wind, flame with the other... I think we just have to use the ones I didn't just use, right? So, more complex ones, so chaos. Okay, let me get away with that. This is wind, then I assume that's cosmic. Green has got to be... Guthics, right? At least it looks like the Guthic symbol. So I think and then we got law for Saradomen. Hey, there's a person here. Zanmaron may knowledge guide you. Do you know what this is about? Strength through chaos, honored friend. I have no idea. I suppose you were in the middle of something. My history of Gilinor. I have almost reached the dawn of the Second Age. Ah, when my Lord Zamorak enters the scene. When may the rest of us read this masterwork? When it's ready, my impatient friend. You know that. I feel like they were all friends. Strength through wisdom, Despite worshipping, not Why only worshipping you know deities that were very about? opposed. We have no idea. I suspect Azris is keeping us waiting in order to inject some drama into her announcement. She has an announcement? That's what I'm guessing. Ah, here she comes. Balance is power, my fellow wizards. I'm sure you're wondering why I gathered you here. Indeed. Honestly, my dear, it hadn't occurred to us to ask. Since Guthix guided my order's founder to the Rune Essence Cave, the tower has struggled with the problem of transportation. For every rune we make, we must bring essence here from the mine, through icy wilderness and across pirate-infested seas. Wizards of all our orders have lost their lives bringing the runes the tower needs. We have long known that teleportation is possible, but have failed to invent a new spell that could connect the tower to the rune essence. My fellow wizards, this document contains the theoretical framework that will allow us to create new teleport spells. Nani? Oh, she made copies for everybody. This is amazing. If this is true, Temelin, would it work? 
Hmm. Yes, I believe it would. It solves both the distance and line of effect problems by routing the movement through a second plane. Of course, we'll need to find an appropriate plane to use. Second All plane thing with law runes is kind of cool. I will need each of your help in developing it into a ritual. No one of our orders can do this alone. Even so, what you've shown us here is a major breakthrough that deserves recognition. Whose work is this? It is my own. Oh no. After a lifetime of searching, Steal and credit. To grant me the necessary inspiration. You are too modest, Ezris. The gods may inspire Fucking us, academia. but the work is our own. Indeed. And there is more work. She got scooped. We should all study this he got scooped. and then reconvene. I will be in my study with my apprentice. Strength through chaos, my fellow wizards. Damn, not cool. My wife got scooped for a astrophysics discovery that she made. Um, she mentioned it like she was working at a collaboration where she wasn't allowed to talk publicly about it. So she was talking about it at a private conference, and one of the people at the private conference leaked it to a professor uh, at MIT, who then wrote a paper on it, stealing her idea. I uh, ended up getting tenure because of it. <laughs> Super Did annoying. You succeed in triggering another memory in the shrine room. Green Master stole the Red Apprentice's idea. What? That can't be right. Were they? Surely the wizards of the old tower were above such pettiness. After the meeting in the shrine room, the masters would have gone to their studies to talk to their apprentices. Can you try to trigger another memory there? Sure. Each of the four masters had a private study, but I think some of them would have collapsed. You'll need to find an intact one and work out which master it belonged to. Once you've done that, you should put the rune for the master of that order on the master's chair, and the rune for that order's apprentice on the chair facing Okay. It. So masters versus apprentices, that makes more sense now. At least I think that's right. This place is pretty ruined. Crates. Destroyed rooms. Looking for chairs, right? Okay, there's a bunch of chairs over in here. Master of the Red Wizards, so that's chaos. Sat here to study. Okay, so maybe those chairs don't count? Let's see. Are there other chairs I need to be looking for, maybe? I'm confused here. Maybe they just want me to do the chairs, and it's just going to be the conversation with the guy whose idea got stolen? Uh, chaos and fire, basically? Oh, okay, that seems like that's right. Straight through chaos, master. You wanted to see me. Caliban, whose apprentice are you? And to which order do you belong? I... Master, I am your apprentice, and I belong to the Order of the Red Wizards of Zamorak. Then why did you take your idea to Asmus of the Green Order, rather than coming to me? I thought, May and I thought, that since Asmus was the expert on teleportation research, May and you, uh -oh. so both the Green and the Grey Orders saw your idea before I did. Somebody at Jagex was in academia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but, but it came to nothing anyway. Azris said the idea was a blind alley. Earlier today, Azris presented your idea to the council as her own work. What? When I looked into it after the meeting, I saw your handiwork in there and traces of the problem that I set you. You have a brilliant and chaotic mind, Kelapan the Red. Azris has worked on the same problem for so long that her mind has turned to stone. Fair. And her apprentice hasn't had an original thought in his life. They stole my idea. No, Calavan. They took your idea. They took it when you handed it to them. Oof. How many times have I told you that we do not trust the other orders? This tower became great precisely because the four orders are in conflict with one another. We of all the orders should remember that. What are you going to do? What am I going to do about Azris taking your idea? Nothing. You 
He's a horrible advisor. Wizards will take some credit for the ritual, even if, thanks to you, it is not the full credit we deserve. Go, now. Think about how you can redeem yourself in Zamorak's eyes. I need privacy for my meditation. Are you going to become like a crazy yes, evil wizard or something, Kelavan? This is a cool quest. I like the rune mysteries we write too. I'm sad that they couldn't keep up this all voice acted thing. Keeper of the key to the abyss, hear me. By the staff of Armadil, on which Zamorak impaled the empty lord, I charge you to appear. Who calls me from the infernal vestibule? Interesting. Like this quest is mostly just like lore dump cutscenes, but that's fine. They're they're quite interesting. Have you managed to trigger a memory in one of the studies? Or did? A demon. I knew that some of the. Oh, that's the main point of that story. <laughs> I did. There was a demon involved in the spell that created the power beam. Didn't you talk to a demon? After he completed the ritual, the Red Master would have needed to distribute it to the other orders. I would guess that he did that by meeting the four apprentices in the library. See if you can trigger another memory in the library. I think you'll need all four apprentices and the Red Master. Okay, let me see if I can reset the skybox in here. This area might have been, it probably still is pre-skyboxes. Uh, that looks pretty cool, actually. That looks quite a bit better. <laughs> I wish I, like I said, I wish I could have a setting that just only used the midday skybox in areas that existed prior to the skybox feature being added to the game. Because it looks fine when, like, the entire zone is built around this concept, but I really hate the way it looks in old zones, especially, like, over-the-top old zones, like in the wilderness. Okay, so we just have to set all the chairs again, basically. I thought that was going to do something. Oh, chairs and table. Is it like who they're talking about? What happens if I put this one? No. I thought maybe they were talking about the lady who stole them. Oh, here we go. All I'm saying is there have to be limits. Students are talking about the Red Master. And who decides what gets left of the gods, Perry, in your order? <laughs> we all have to examine our consciences. With this power, we could end hunger, end disease, end war, unite the world. My conscience would be fine with that. And who governs this new world, May? Your order. Master? Strength through chaos, fellow wizards. It's good to hear a healthy argument coming from the library. We were talking about what we could do once we had Too bad they had to talk in the like complete now. darkness, though, now that I have the Skybox turned up. And what we should and shouldn't do. Then you'll be pleased to know that you will soon be able to act out your moral dilemmas for real. You've completed the spell, Master. Indeed, I have completed the ritual that Azris the Green presented to the Council. I have made a copy for each of you to take to your Master. The ritual requires eight participants who must stand in a specific pattern. Please, stress to your masters that the ritual must be performed exactly as described. Any deviation could be extremely dangerous. We can commence as soon as we're ready. I'll see you in the spellcasting chamber. Sounds good. Alright, talking to Ariane again. So, what did you see? We're nearly there. 
The ritual would have taken place in this room. All we need to know is where each of the eight wizards stood. Oh boy. Wizards are arguing. I wish I was surprised. I had always hoped... I know this is irrational, but I had always hoped it would turn out to be a purely magical accident that destroyed the old wizard's tower. It's looking more and more like it was destroyed by infighting between the different orders. We won't know for sure until we recreate the ritual, though. What now? All we need to know now is how the wizards were arranged in the ritual. If we could find fragments of the document the wizards fragments were the document. Okay, got it. On, we could piece together what we need. You should search the ruins. See if you can find any parts of the ritual document. The pieces are likely to be in the studies in the library. Studies in the library, okay. Sounds good. Keep wanting to surge places. I have it bound to a mouse key, so I just kind of instinctively press it whenever I feel like I've got at least five tiles ahead of me in a straight line. Oh, wow, that's a lot of shelves to search. Uh-oh. Oh, I only found one. Check all of them, presumably. Yeah, the lighting in this room looks really good. I don't know that it's appropriate for dialogue. Okay, there's another one. Won't make you watch all of this. I'm just going to click through all these. Oh, well, I went to pause it, and I guess the second floor isn't actually accessible, so maybe those are the only two I can get in this room anyway. Okay, now I can search these crates. They weren't searchable before. Total of five. Book. Diary. Soon the tower will be destroyed. Oh, is it the apprentice? Okay, so we're talking about May. Enemies of the Order must taste the flames of our wrath. Well, that's too bad. All the other rooms here make more sense now. I was really confused as to why I only cared about the one room when I came here the first time. Yeah, I guess this is another problem, right? Where in terms of like playability, Those two stand out much more from each other with the skylight removed or skybox removed. Oh, I wish they just didn't even make it an option. I wish they just enforced their visual vision on me. All right, yo. You should search the ruins. Have See? all the parts. On the diary. Surely this can't be real. I thought the wizards of the old tower were noble seekers after the deep truths of the universe. First, we learn about their oh, shit, real, again. There was a plot to destroy the old tower from the inside. I know who wrote the diary. The only wizard who fits is the Red Apprentice Caliban. The wizard he said was unwittingly helping him must have been made. Doesn't look that old. That's true, but that doesn't prove anything. Any of the old wizards could have enchanted a book against decay. You should search the ruins. Okay, I got See? the documents. That's it. Using the information in these fragments, you should be able to work out where each of the wizards stood during the ritual. You'll need to read the fragments and work out how the wizards were arranged, then put the runes on the floor oh, okay. of this that makes room sense. to trigger the memory. So I can read the fragments? I'm gonna do another logic puzzle. Ah, uh, okay, so yeah, this is great. I, I love this stuff. All right. So Sarah Doman stands opposite Master, opposite Zamorak Master. I guess I can just use the rune names. It's probably easier. So it's Law, opposite Chaos. Oh, that makes some sense. I thought about that. One Master and one Apprentice. No two Masters may stand next to each other. Okay. So Law, not Jace. Okay, uh, well, let's say Law, Nature, Cosmic, Chaos. Never adjacent, which means that water, air, earth, fire are never adjacent. Two wizards of the same order can't be adjacent, so law, water, not adjacent. Uh, air, cosmic, not adjacent. Nature, earth, not adjacent. Fire, chaos, not adjacent. I need to know, like, where one of them starts to figure the rest of this out. Green Apprentice stands at the left of the Grey Master. Okay. So that's Earth is left of Cosmic, right of Law. 
Okay, here's here's where we can figure out the rest of it. So, chaos stands south. And I think I have enough information to solve the whole thing from there. Right, so we know chaos is south. Let me see if I can, I'd like to show you what I'm doing here. Hold on. Okay, so we got law and chaos, north and south. Uh, fire is not allowed to be here or here. Water is not allowed to be here or here. Um, also, Earth is left of cosmic and right of law. So that means this must be Earth, right? Low, wait, law is like facing forward. So I guess I don't know how they mean by that. Is it laws right? Because if it's laws right, then it's here. I guess this. Assume that it's laws right. Which means that that must be cosmic. So air can't go here. I guess we know for sure that the masters are on the cardinal directions. So if we already know law, chaos, and cosmic, this has to be nature. Right, although that's not super helpful because we already know that Earth goes here. So we know water can't go here. Water could go in either of these two spots. Fire can't go in either of these two spots because both would be adjacent to chaos, so fire must go here. Okay, that's narrowing it down. And then air can't go here because it would be next to nature, so air has to go here, so water has to go here. I think that's our answer. Solid puzzle. Oh, do they go, they go on the floor here? Okay, I see. So that was... Chaos is north. And then Earth was northwest. And then west was cosmic. Southwest was water. Oh wait, I did this wrong. Uh, north was Ceridomen. I just got it flipped. Bottom, bottom right is air, away from cosmic, and then nature is east, and then fire is northeast. Get it? Hey, what? nice. Thank that you. was cool. Cool, cool puzzle. The memory is starting. I want to see this. Where's Zanmaron? It's not like him to be late. Maybe he's. What? Never mind. Strength through chaos, ladies and gentlemen. Are we prepared? We are prepared. Please remember, once the ritual begins, we must all keep our places in the circle. If anyone leaves, there could be disastrous consequences. Senventior Disline Renesset. Ava, Salaka, Nimporto. What's that? Please concentrate, Perian. Saparanti, Marudo, Calmentor. No, 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 I can see something behind Wizard Zamoron. It's a demon. Oh. Please, the ritual must be performed exactly as written. Senventior Disline Morenko. May, can't you see it? It's safe, Perrion. I studied the ritual. It uses demonic power, but it's safe. You knew? Demonic power is never safe. We have to stop. I'm sure the demonic influence is minor. The core of the ritual is still Wizard Azris's green magic. Green magic? May, it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. I was there when Caliban made uh, his This is his work. So is, it not, is Kelvin is not the true? traitor? Because that's cool. Well, it should have been mine. I've worked all my life for this problem. And then some kid has the idea. It should have been mine. Some of these dialogue lines are way quieter than the others. I think it's going to come through to the VOD. I'm sorry. It's just how it is in RS3. No, Zanmaron, it does matter. If I had known this entire ritual was based on red magic, I would never have agreed to take part. It's worth it. With this power, we could build a perfect world and disease and war. And you think that justifies this? I cannot take part in this ritual. Come, Perrion. No! If you leave the circle, we can't contain it! It was the Ceridominus who fucked it up. Interesting. 
Oh, he's a little spirit. The Red Master was hit by the full force of the power beam. No wonder that started a fire that... Wait, it's happening again. Get down! Oh, shit. Okay, we check on Ariane. Yeah, she's not looking too good. Investigate. Oh, Wizard Eleron in the Wizard's Tower. Okay. Here he is, Wizard Eleron. Yo. Hello again, adventurer. What can I do for you? Help. You are right to come to me. I have experience dealing with that sort of magical coma, so I should be able to bring her around. Oh, Didn't say she was in a coma. <laughs> Did I let on that I know more than I should? Almost as if I planned this whole sequence of events. And my plan is so close to completion that I'm becoming careless about what I say. You planned this? She was my apprentice, and she has done exactly what I taught her. She's a born grey wizard. Clever, but naive. I just had to give her an interesting hook and she'd go wherever her curiosity led her. You wrote that diary. Oh, my diary. I was That's cute. That was a to. pretty good bit of misdirection there. I forgot that a lot of these modern quests are written quite well. Why would you do this? For revenge, adventurer. Slow burning. Passed down through generations. Dish best served cold revenge. Two of the ritual participants survived the destruction of the first tower. Perian the Blue and Kelavan the Red. Perian founded the second tower and blamed the first tower's oh. destruction on red wizards. Kelavan went into hiding and took an oh. apprentice, who in turn took an apprentice, beginning a secret <laughs> order. The ancient of order of Sith wizards. wizards. I am the secret heir to the sacred tradition of the Staff of Fire. And today I bring the vengeance of Zamorak against the wizard's tower. Oh, damn. That's really exciting. Enough talk. It's too late for that, adventurer. I have no quarrel with you. Leave now or be caught up in the tower's destruction. How are we getting out of this one? Oh shit. Still have her Goku powers. It's a pretty solid cutscene. Behold the vengeance of the betrayed souls of the great old tower! Behold the, the bloody screaming and running wizards of a new tower rising to destroy it Master what's going on My dear apprentice you are fulfilling the purpose for which I trained you Your wide-eyed search for truth has led you exactly where I wanted Don't worry you won't have to contain that power for long the soul fragments will tear you apart, and the explosion will level the tower. Uh, can I control now? Okay. Adventurer! You have the right to interfere! Leave him alone! So, you've learned to channel that energy. Enjoy it while you can. Any moment now, it'll overwhelm you. Stop talking. I'm trying to concentrate. Adventurer, I think... I think someone wants to talk to you. Fascinating. If I understand this correctly, I am one of several personality fragments possessing an unwilling host body. I assume this is an effect of Zamaron's ritual being performed improperly. Temrin the Grey. So you've retained some degree of consciousness. I suppose this situation 
is unstable adventurer, I recommend you draw each personality fragment out of the host body before it is overwhelmed. In my case, a cosmic room should make a suitable receptacle. You will need to type your actions so that the room being used matches the color in the cycle. Okay. It is a pity I cannot observe this phenomenon from an external vantage point. How well? Okay, so which one? Do we want to use the big one or the little one? I'll wait for the color to be right. Okay. No. I wasn't fast enough, shit. Gotta like be ready to click it. Oh wait, I think I understand. So spinning is master, still is apprentice. But there are seven more. It's all I can do to keep them contained. I'll let them speak through me one by one. My time orbit. I always dreamed of the time having an orbit. Okay, so that's the blue apprentice. Archmage Perian! You built this tower! Built it on it's the funny they bring back the organ. Order. Now you'll play a part in its destruction. Archmage, what, what, what are you talking about? Okay, so water when it's still. A bit of a janky puzzle here at the end, but I guess I can understand it. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, ascend. We're gonna do it on different levels. Not the most exciting resolution to <laughs> an otherwise quite cool quest. Hey, I think I get this. Adventure, you need to wait for the right load, then use an earth room. Okay. Shut up, slammed. No one even remembers you. You didn't come up in the quest. Here we go. My power beam, my teleportation anchor. Fire. Hey, can you see it? It worked. Master! What? The blue wizards killed your master and drove you underground. But you founded a secret order to seek vengeance. This is that vengeance. Hold on to that body. Any moment now, you will destroy the tower. Enemies of the order must taste the flames of our wrath. I don't care what some other me did, and I don't want to destroy any tower. Aw, Calvin. You say you can get me out of here. Do it. Okay. Can do. Got it. I like the different, like, powered up icons. They look cool. Send again, I think. We're hurting someone. I can sense it. If you have a way to get me out of here, please use it. Okay, so she's the law rune. What a name, wizard! You disobeyed my master and stepped out of the circle. You destroyed the old tower, and I'll use you to destroy the new one. Who are you? A dick. I am Eleron the Red, heir to the sacred tradition of the Staff of Fire. I bring the vengeance of Sanmaron and Calavan, whom you betrayed. Sanmaron and Calavan were my friends. And you are nothing like them, you hateful little man. Adventurer, get me out of here before I do any more harm. Okay. There we go. This power beam. Nature. So, Calavan's idea of I still think a green wizard would come up with an adventure. You still fucked up real bad, though, Ezra's. Only Zamorak grants us the creativity to have truly original ideas. Really? And what original ideas have you had to some as far as I can tell, you're more interested in destroying other people. Adventurer, get me out of here. You doke. Up again one last time. It's down to just the two now, right? I they deviated from the ritual, and now look what's happened. Disembodied soul fragments, possessing some slip of a girl. Lord Zanmaroth! Who are you? 
but why should I care? <laughs> I am heir to the sacred tradition of the Staff of Fire. The blue wizards betrayed you, but we have worked in secret for a hundred years to bring them down. Worked in secret for a hundred years? Self-important. That's great. I love it. The magic stick. But, Master, I'm doing this for you. I've had enough of this. You, adventurer, get me out of here. I command it. I kind of like that they're making the Zamorakians out to be not just comically evil. It might not have as broad a foundation as the old one, but it's reached just as high. Such a pity someone would try to destroy it. Call me out, adventurer. Use the last room. And do. Hey, she's not Goku anymore. I think I can see a more fitting host for us than these runes, don't you? No! <laughs> so, here we are, false red wizard. Your apprentice contained us for the height of this tower. Let's see how long you... Overwhelm me then! Let me explode! She's gonna fucking explode? Samarak with my death, the tower will fall! Oh, I don't think so. Let's see where this teleportation I'm looking to be. No, don't! Don't make me teleport! This is one time I'll let you use demonic knowledge, Zamoran. To the abyss! No! To the abyss, my fellow wizards. That's cool. I wonder if he actually is in the abyss somewhere. It would be great if he shows up again in a later quest. He's gone. I can't believe he was using me like that. He mentored me for ten years. How could I not have seen it? Are you okay? I'm shaken, but I'll recover. If you hadn't been here, though, I... I couldn't have contained that energy for much longer. Where'd Elrond go? To the Abyss. The soul fragments of the old wizards made him teleport there. He's dead by now, or will soon be. I hope he's like a monster. That would be really cool if he shows up later. Destroy him like they nearly destroyed me. He'll explode in the Abyss. So the tower is safe. What now? I think that's it. We found out who released the Vortices, and we stopped him. That's what we set out to do. You don't seem very happy. I've just had the soul fragments of eight powerful wizards inhabiting me. I nearly exploded. And then I found out the man I most trusted had been lying to me for the last ten years. Please forgive me if I'm not at my most cheerful. You did find out what happened. Yes, that was interesting. Thanks for helping with that. And we saw the ritual used to create the power beam. I need to write that down before I forget it. It could open up new lines of alternative teleportation research. Adventurer, I want to go away and think about this. But thanks for your help. I hope we can work together again in future. Sounds good. Hey, quest complete. Rune Memories is a great quest. It's fully voice acted. It's from the era when Jagex was experimenting with that before they ran out of money and budget. It's an immediate follow-up to Rune Mystery, so it's kind of funny that I left Ariane standing there for actual months. It's sort of about the history of the Wizard's Tower and about the cruelty of academia. There's a Zamorak acolyte who was at the Wizard's Tower who got scooped by another advisor. But it's cool. It gets into like the history of the development of teleportation magic. It talks about mage rituals. It kind of represents the Zamorakian mages as not being purely evil, which is an interesting take. It has a cool logic puzzle toward the end. If you wanted to watch only a few unedited quests, this would be one I'd recommend because the full voice acting makes it pretty easy to, to pay attention to. It does end with a traitor in the Wizard's Tower getting banished to the Abyss, where it seems like he's about to explode. Um, but I'm hoping that he's going to come back either as a villain or like an, a, a you know mutant Abyss monster or something. I think that would be a really neat little dangling thread to resolve later. Yeah, so this Rune Essence chest, I remember reading about this a long time ago. It's like... You just get a whole bunch of pure essence based on your runecraft level for free. It's somewhere around here. I'm not going to stress out about it too much right now. Uh, destroy, whatever, destroy, whatever. 
Uh, that also keeps me, I can get back on doing quests in release order now. I'd mentioned being confused about it showing as a 2003 date, but that's because Rune Mysteries and Rune Memories were released together back to back, and I only did Rune Mysteries out of order to get access to the Abyss for something else, so that was the right order. Um, so we can come back to working on these later. In the meantime, though, I'm going to gonna go finish uh, Garden of Tranquility. Um, I'll probably pop over and do the Golem, since that one doesn't require me to record anything, and then we'll check out Defender of Varrock. This is the rune chest right here. 800, oh, 8,555 pieces of rune essence. Okay, I've got everything planted here. I need to let it start growing, so I'll go do the golem while I wait. It's uh, actually not too far down the line. It's 2005. All right, let's do the golem. All right, the desert phoenix for the golem is kind of in a weird place because of, I think this is God Wars Dungeon 3. Need a bunch of its feathers later for different reasons. There we go. Oh, just camouflage fragments for that. That's pretty funny. Here's a region they haven't updated at all. Well, it's pretty funny. I think that's part of the problem with RS3 for me is that they just haven't been consistent with whether they've updated stuff, right? For me, it's like either don't update things at all or update everything. And there's not really a middle ground. All right, that should complete the quest. Here we go. I'll go collect a couple of Phoenix Feathers for artifact restoration. You use them in Herb Lore later as well, um, but I don't want to, like, fill my bank with them. All right, turning in Garden of Tranquility, and then I'm going to go ahead and do Defender of Varrock, which looks like it's not too bad. Uh, it is a new quest, so I will record the whole thing, but it's not as long as Rune Memories, I don't think. I guess it seems like Dead and Buried's dialogue also changes if you've already completed Garden of Tranquility, which again is infuriating, like Garden of Tranquility should be a prerequisite for Dead and Buried. But you've heard me talk about that a thousand times now, so. Okay, so it should be quest complete, I think. There we go, quest complete. And I'm just gonna disassemble this compost potion. Um, I'm going to try to start Defender of Iraq here. Okay, quest starts with this guy, Captain Rovin. And it is not voice acted, I didn't think so. Sounds like a quest. Even reports of zombies organizing in the wilderness. Zombies in the wilderness, that doesn't seem unusual. The concept of zombies in the wilderness, I'm not worried about. One of my scouts has reported large numbers of them forming ranks. Someone's organizing them. Oh, okay. So this is setting up necromancy a really long time. This is 2008. Wow, this quest almost made it into old school. No kidding. Heartwind, get up here. Graveyard of Shadows, yep. Better equipped, standing in lines, facing a shadowy figure. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, light source, blurite ore. I guess I get the blurite ore during the quest, so I'm not going to worry about that one too much. Multiple level 104 foes should be fine, except quest. Yeah, let's go. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Heartwind. Look for those zombies. Okay. I have to fight all of these guys on my chunk account every cycle. These zombies here, but hardly an army. I swear there was an army here. Follow these trails and see where they go. Okay. Oh, does this quest require Hunter? Because that's pretty funny. I do like this stuff. I think it's cute. That useless tile, right? Here we go. Bushes, trees, stumps. Oh, that gets confusing really fast. Must be an instance version of this area, I take it. Assume this wasn't dangerous when the quest released. Because there's like a, invisible walls everywhere. That makes sense. Oh man, this is messed up. Oh hey, a grubby key. Going to the Chaos Temple. Really making sure this is as like messy as humanly possible. 
messy and like unclear. Okay, this is looking promising. At the Chaos Temple. I know what happened to the zombies in this area. Is it talking to Simon? Because this is a fake part of this map, right? Have you seen an army of zombies? They're not team players, these zombies. Where'd they go? Once anyone doesn't buy a cape, I lose interest. Oh, they walked into the couch. So yeah, there's a trap door in here, and that's cool. I wonder if I could, like, abuse this to level... I mean, it wouldn't matter, right? Like, I could offer bones on the altar. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't. In the... Not that it matters, because there's no danger in the actual wilderness, but... Oh, here we go. Armored zombies. Oh, it actually used that grubby key. Okay, I thought that was like a... I guess grubby keys mean something else in old school RuneScape. Oh, hey, it's the Morrigal. Now I know who this guy is. Infamous enemy of Varrock. Some rando in the Fort Foran's request that probably should have required this as a prerequisite. He's a ma uh, Majorat. Oh yeah, Lucian. They really take the Majorat stuff a lot further than Old School does. It kind of has like a couple of quests and then sort of drops it. Maybe it gets dealt with in like Desert Treasure 2 and the other stuff leading up to it. I haven't done those yet. Arav in the living flesh, unliving flesh. Oh, wow. That's pretty exciting. Asked for his autograph if he wasn't a foul undead creature. That's exciting. Okay, what are we doing next? It's 2008, right? Defender of Varrock. Underground base, Amorigal, Arav. Compute with a magical mist. I guess these guys don't aggro. Oh, never mind, they aggro. Bottles on the ground here. Okay. I don't know. I guess I can kill some of these guys. Oh, red mist. Okay, use bottle on mist, I guess. Does seem to work. Not how many I need? There were five bottles on the ground, so I guess I'll get five. Bottle of mist. Can I? Could I open the door the whole time? I guess we'll see. It's Arav. It's really interesting to run into Arav of all characters. You finding Zamorgal's control? I have to look upon innocent people's faces. My body is forced to kill them. Damn. That sucks. And the mist leaks from the bottles. Okay. Do I need to get more? Going the wrong way for the mission, so our one is left. I think that's fine. I don't know how much I actually needed. So I have to have these open the doors, basically. Is that how they work? Okay. Now I got another balcony. Must be prepared for attack on Varrock as soon as possible. I shall claim the shield of Arav. Oh, that must be why I had to... I was like, why does it require me to claim the kudos for turning in the shield to the museum? That's really weird. Okay. Warren Captain Roven, got it. 
All right, back to Rovin. What's up, bud? Track down the zombie army. Some Majorat going into a Zamorigal. People's greatest fear and worst nightmare. We saw Arav 2. Any news on Zamorigal's plans? I still don't know what those blood vials did. The red mist vials. Oh, the shield. Okay, so they're finally paying off the shield of Arav. Condo dwarves, so they know the secrets of the shield. Oh yeah, Thurgo, right, right, right. That's cool. Ties that story in. Because that's how I go get Blurite ore, because it's like right next to his house. Okay, I'll go talk to Thurgo. I use the fairy ring to teleport to this place, and you get an achievement. I heard you like mud skips. Uh, cute. I'd like to talk about the shield of our of. Part of the artifact, it's in the city of Verak. Powerful, how do I unlock the power? Camdazol. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So they like keep Camdazol in uh, old school RuneScape, but you get there via a totally different quest called Beneath Ice Mountain, which is neat. interesting given that this quest was so close to being an old school i'm surprised they didn't just import it and made a brand new quest instead i guess they wanted to make sure that it was free to play accessible maybe this quest takes you to places that normally aren't good luck finding the forge oh right one of these um we can use the sextant Here we go, Blurite rocks. It doesn't work underground. Uh, no idea where this sextant is pointing. I might look it up. I don't know, it's kind of like a hot and cold clue, I guess. So this says 10 degrees, 31 minutes north. This says six degrees, 43 minutes north. So it must be like really far north here. Is it in the wilderness? Actually, I don't think it goes too far. Maybe it's in Edgeville? It's being like the Grand Exchange, maybe. Yeah, I think it's it's gotta be Edgeville. Probably not the wilderness, because the wilderness would be like 11 degrees. Yeah, okay, 10 degrees. It's supposed to be 10 degrees, 31 minutes, which is like a little bit further south. So let's check in the middle of Edgeville. It's 1031, 1748, and we're at 1035. Okay, so it's got to be way... Uh, is it on Ice Mountain? It must... Oh, that would make sense if it's Camdazol, right? Probably could have just like done it that way i tend to when i do the coordinate clues using the alt one plugin i just use um i teleport to virag as my first location because i feel like it's relatively centered yeah this looks right it's probably by the tree even maybe so it's supposed to be 10 31 17 48 i'm really close so it is by the tree that's 1748 so i just have to get a couple south, I think. One more. Uh, hopefully that's good enough, because I can't go further. There's a rubble under the snow. Okay, that does work. Oh, that's pretty cool. Enter hole. Wow, this is sweet. Uh, I, I wonder if this is going to be... Ah, uh, there's my gold rune material cache. I could stop the quest there, but I'll keep going. This, this changes everything, like... Oh, it's been so miserable. Whenever I've had an artifact that requires gold rune, I have to go to the Everlight dig site and just dig for the male and female figurine artifacts. And I have so many of those that I can't restore because I get them faster than I get the gold rune. Uh, but I'm going to be very happy with this finally and with the vellum accessible, I'm going to be able to get rid of all of the damaged artifacts in my bank forever, which is uh, glorious. Okay, uh, Romarno. What is a little forge? This guy might be an old school. He is. He's the guy in the ruins of Camdazal. He doesn't have a little blindfold. That's interesting. I 
How'd you survive so long? Another Imkondo dwarf. This third can come to visit an old sage. Uh, uh, what does the game want me to do next? <laughs> I know I needed the blue right aura for something. Is this one I need it? Huh. Just says it's a cave. I want to use a sacred forge. City of Verox under grave threat. We have an artifact called the Shield of Arav. Done a fair bit of smithing. Okay. It's a cool way to make smithing matter. There we go. Stoke the forge with blue right. Got it. Let's get cracking. This cutscene's widescreen, which is very unusual. Look into the forge and think of the shield. Whoa, graphics. King Roll, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's it's contact, basically. Never knew my mind was so weird. Not actually are right, we stopped the zombie horde. So much higher res than all the other characters. Who founded Varrock? The leader of the tribe that founded Varrock became one of the city's first elders. There were seven elders when Zamorgal was defeated, but only one was of his founding bloodline. Bloodline is the only one that can use the shield to defend Varrock. Okay. Uh-oh. Get back to Varrock as quickly as possible. Ha! <laughs> New music track, Dream Theater. There's a Muse reference in Old School RuneScape in Karen. There's a bat named M Bat Melamy. It's funny. Okay, what am I doing in Verak? Turn to Roven, okay. Oh, cutscene as I'm entering into the palace. Oh, it's nighttime. And there's zombies everywhere. Whoa! <laughs> I love that. Remember, uh, Battle Toads on the NES did that, and it freaked me out as a kid. Cracked a screen with a projectile. See, here it seems to be overriding my skybox. Whatever, it's fine. I just wish it was better about doing that. Rowan, what the hell? Someone of a certain bloodline can use the shield. The descendant of the first elders of Varrock. Not sure how he'd find someone of that lineage alive today. Sensor's record in the library. Okay. Cool. And there's the shield. Interesting. So go to the library, I guess. Them all fighting the zombies is pretty cool. Uh, is it Reldo? He did show up in the cutscene earlier, which usually is a clue that he's going to become important in the quest later. Restore Dominarian to... Oh, he's talking about dig sites. Okay, well, I mean, the invasion by the zombies is maybe more important. Uh, I'd love to talk about the invading zombies. Founder of Eric became an elder of the town. So the elders on my desk where a zombie knocked it on the floor. The old census. Okay, is that these documents here? No. Somewhere else on the floor. List of elders. Avaraka. Yeah. Tarlo Romanus, Damar, Lapiset, Comb, Prizen. Oh, like Surprisen. Theraukaiser, Marv Halen, 
Ramon Rabbits and Laris Gontamu. Okay, so it must be surprising, right? That would make sense. So is surprising here somewhere? He was one of the characters that showed up in the little like contact scene where the, the forge was talking to me through NPCs I recognized. Surprising's the guy in yeah, in the quest. That's right. Hey man, I need your help with this shield. Or one of the sentence, I can't tell if you're the right one. Nothing seems to be happening. Oh, okay. Wonder if this is different for every player or something. He's the only one who had a name on the list. Oh, no, not that. Claim, claim the reward. Talk about the zombies. I hadn't held the shield before. Okay. Uh, I guess just talk to everybody. Under a Varrock. Zombie invasion. Nope. Who else is there to check? Ryzen was the only one that stood out to me. Okay, well. I don't think I'm in like an instance of Varrock, am I? Oh, I am in an instance of Varrock. Okay, well that limits the places that I can check, I guess. Wait, maybe not? What does the, the quest description say? Yeah, that's not very helpful. Oh, compare the list with surnames on the Varrock census. Okay, that must be... I was just talking to people randomly after I saw Prizens. Where do I find the Varrock census is the question. That makes more sense. There we go, Varrock census. He did say to do that in the quest dialogue. I just thought I already had the info I needed. Nine years out of date. Oh, so this shows us everybody's last names. Baby, traveling merchant, baby. How many pages are there? Oh, shit. Is the whole six years out of date thing going to be, or nine years out of date going to be relevant? Jeremy Clerkson. <laughs> oh, there are multiple pages. Okay, so the surnames I'm looking for are Romanus, Lapiset, Ricefer, Halen. Oh, Craig Halen's the museum guy. I could try him. Rabbits, Gontemu. Okay. Yeah, Heg, Heg Halen, Prizen, Orvik Rabbits. I didn't see Gontemu. Okay, so we got the Smith and the museum guy. Orvik, buddy, zombie invasion. Weird, okay. I'm worried they're all gonna say it's not them. <laughs> zombie invasion. Why do you think I'm descended? Match the name of an early elder named Marv Halen. Oh, my great grandfather was adopted. Edwina. Edwina Fitzharmon. Okay, so I have to read the census again to figure out who that is. Oh, hey, Dementius Fitzharmon. That's, uh,. The guy from Family Crest, I think? This is a cool quest. I like this. It would have been fun when it first came out to have to like search all of Varrock 
find all these names and it gives you a clue does it require family crest that would be kind of a spoiler wouldn't it oh it sure does okay <laughs> i like that there's this second level piece of information that you have to get and then know to go back to the senses i think that's quite smart Dementius, buddy Not to where I used to be. Descended from one of the original elders of Varrock, you have the ability to use the shield to defeat the zombies. It's impressive. Oh, cool. It's like glowing. Oh, it's just like some guy in town. I wonder if that's different for different people or if it's always Dementius. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool power. <laughs> Monk of Zamorak is about to get freed. That was funny. Free at last. This is a cool quest. All right, Roven. You save Varrock. It's a shame we didn't catch any of the other people. They'll have to show up in another episode of our TV show. Oh, hey. Wow, that's a ton of rewards for a pretty straightforward quest. Okay, Defender of Varrock just got released in Old School RuneScape. I have to assume the Old School RuneScape is at least a little bit different because it has you going to the ruins of Camdazal, which you get to under very different circumstances in Old School. But the major deal with this quest is that it's the introduction of Zamorigal, the necromancer, who seems to be a pretty significant recurring villain in RS3. Unfortunately, I've already run into Zamorigal a couple times in the Fort Foreign 3 quest line because of my consistent complaint that they removed quest gating from a lot of the more recent content. They probably should have required this quest as a prerequisite before I was even allowed to do Fort Foreign 3, but whatever. Essentially, there's a zombie army invasion in Varrock, and there's a lot of cool little cutscenes where you're having to deal with zombies there. A big twist is that Arav, the ancient hero mentioned in Shield of Arav, has been resurrected by Zamorigal as a zombie slave. Overall, it was a pretty cool quest. I'm excited to see how Old School adapted it. Especially, I want to see what the Old School Zamorigal uh, model looks like. That's the last full quest for this episode. Let's get back to the playthrough. That was cool. I enjoyed that. That's a good one. Use all these lamps. All right. The quests I needed to do to keep doing archaeology have been completed. I'm getting back to the archaeology grind. I'm actually going to start by restoring all of the artifacts that are in my bank. Uh, I'll show you what those are here in a second. All right. Here are the remaining damaged artifacts that I have the level to repair. I have some other ones over here that I got from Tetra Compasses. I think of these, I can only do a couple. Orc Cleaver Sword... I'll move the ones that I can do. I may as well finish those as well. I forgot that I had that Orc Cleaver Sword. I didn't need to restore it earlier. Shit. Um, can do... I think that's it. I think all these other ones are way too high a level. Anyway, uh, I'm going to add all these to my little tracker list, and we're going to get to repairing them. But first things first, I need to gather a shitload of Gold Rune. Gold Rune has been a thorn in my side for so long, so I'm going to bring... Uh, well, I'm going to go make some more porters first, I guess. I'm almost out of energy. I guess I could make... I'm sitting on this luminous energy, and I'm not going to use it for anything other than porters. So maybe I'll make some gold necklaces and then make as many of that tier of porter as I can just to get this out of my bank. All right, we're here with the full inventory of porters. This should be enough to get enough gold rune to make all of the items I have in the bank. Huzzah. I screwed up. I picked up uh, a special research turn-in, forgetting that it gives you a bunch of XP. I ended up getting 83 archaeology on my phone. Not a big deal. I'm just doing my dailies now, and I'm going to get back to trying to restore all of my banked damaged artifacts that I have the level for. Just over here gathering vellum. Very exciting to have access to this finally. I think I have all the gold rune I need. I'm going to go back to my bank and try to recalculate here in a second exactly what my project's going to be. I'd love to get all this bank space back, though, because any of the relics or artifacts that I'm sitting on in my bank uh, are things that I've already completed all the collections for, so I'll theoretically never need to gather them ever again once I've restored and turned them in or disassembled them. All right, here is the result of Project Get All of the Damaged Artifacts Out of My Bank. Uh, I need these here on this line. 
So lots of white marble, which I can also get down here. Lots of vellum. Uh, I already finished my gold rune. Well, that was a ton of gold rune that I had to gather. But this is going to take me a while. I'm excited to have it done, though. Uh, never have to worry about damaged artifacts again. I should just be able to stay on top of them from now on with the skill. Okay, I've been at this uh, white marble grind for a minute, but I think I have all of it. Yeah, 979 plus what I have in my inventory. I think that means I can finally get rid of all those artifacts that I was getting to make the, the male and female figurines that I was getting to make um, gold rune before. So I'm going to get all those out of my bank and then I can work on everything else because those are the ones I have the most of. I guess also, I don't know if I have the other materials, but the 12 Achelishan masks, uh, I got them from, I'll show you. Yeah, these guys. I got these from trying to get the Imkondo pieces, so I'll see if I can clear those out as well. Oh, that's beautiful. 18 restorations. Let's go. I'm just going to disassemble all of them, I think. I have anything else to do with them. Oh, man, disassembling these. It feels so good to be rid of them forever. <laughs> okay, got enough vulcanized rubber and enough vellum to repair the remaining 10 blinder masks, and then it's... I think next I have to work on the Dominion Medals, of which I have like five of each. So that's a lot of Everlight Silk Thrill. But I will be able to finish this project. It's quite exciting. Oh, missed the level up, but I got 94 Constitution over here, AFKing Arch Glacier for my daily Reaper task. Oh, and I'm done. I should just leave. Okay. Uh, I stood around long enough. I guess I can get one more kill. And weekly clock's almost up, so I'm going to go ahead and use these... Uh lamps from penguins on herblore now not quite a level up might try to squeeze out a level before i pick up my bonus xp so i get slightly more bonus xp out of it i was able to squeeze out 75 herblore here before redeeming my bonus xp benefits um i'm gonna keep making i made a bunch of hairlander potions unfinished just want to get them out of my bank so i'm gonna Make the rest of them. Oh, I got an agility level up there from uh, Meg. 78 agility. Take it. Oh, it's awful. All right, water filtration. Anything good? Uh, Elder Trove. That's kind of cool. Oh, an Onyx. That's <laughs> that's probably the more exciting thing there. That's pretty neat. Uh, I'll just bank everything else, but having an Onyx is quite cool. To see what Onyx stuff I haven't made yet. I'll take 100k coins. Why not? Well, an Amulet of Fury would be a pretty significant buff. I'd have to target level crafting for a while, which I'm not super excited about right now, but I'll keep it on the back burner or something to consider. Whoa, man, I'm bad today. Totally missed uh, 84 archaeology. I'm just gathering these materials. I had no idea I was close, actually. Okay, this has been a really long time coming, but I finally have enough materials to restore all the artifacts that are in my bank and delete all of those placeholders. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm probably not even going to get a level out of this, to be honest, but I don't care. I just want to get rid of all this shit. Okay, this is my last restored artifact. Uh, I was off very slightly. I had to go quickly get some Hellfire Metal, but other than that, I my calculations were correct. Did not get a level up. Uh, let me go power this Tetra Compass, see where it takes us. And then I just have to turn most of these into Chronotes and Disassembly and I'll be able to actually free up the bank space finally. Okay, excavating the Tetra Compass here. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Hey, two tomes. We love to see it. All right, so this time I actually got a decent number of artifacts that I am able to restore. Uh, and a complete Crystal Triskelion. I guess I'll go turn that in too. Why not? I don't know why I bother reporting these. Nothing. All right, so this is probably going to end up being a waste, but there's a hard request for a Barrows item that I can technically do. I have the Bitter Cap Mushrooms, the Palm Tree Seeds, and I have a robust Arc Spore Zygomite. Uh, unfortunately, it's an adult, so I'm losing a little bit of resources there, but it has the proper trait that's necessary. So... There's still a couple of Barrows items I want. I really want the Amulet of the Forsaken. Uh, and I don't know if I want to target farm Barrows for that, but this will be my first time turning in a hard request, I think. And in a hard request, I got five Barrows totems. That's, uh, wow, that's an insult. Never doing that again. Okay, I got about an hour of energy farming done here, about 17k almost energy. I'm gonna go make a bunch of divine charges. I'm running out. Okay, deciding what to do with all these restored artifacts. Some of them have obvious applications like turning into specific collections 
I need to put the spiked dog collar on a hellhound, so I guess I'll go to the wilderness hellhounds and do that really quick for the achievement. And I think I pretty much just disassemble it after that. Okay, so I think this is gonna work. Use dog collar on hellhound. Who's a bad boy? Okay, now I can just disassemble those. That's good. RS3 is an extremely goofy game. Armadillo's just chilling out here. I mean, at least he's really tall. He's not this big in uh, God Wars Dungeon 3 or whatever. I need to give him this dream coat for a relic. We rediscovered Stormguard Citadel. Restored the stream coat. Oh, nice. Armadale's second husband, Ubisooth. Okay, Ring of Solomon. Oh, I'm not the World Guardian. Let's click out of this shit. I think this gives you a defensive effect, which might actually be pretty useful. It might even be better. It probably is better than a life points effect. Death Ward. Yeah, I think that's probably more effective than max HP. So I will go ahead and dump. How much does that cost to equip? 150? Yeah, that's fine. 3,000 chronos to equip. Really, I'm looking forward to being done with using chronotes on anything so that I don't have to, like, hiss through my teeth whenever I see a chronote cost. There we go. Death Ward, Unexpected Diplomacy, Ring of Fortune, and this little heart icon that has been in the corner of my screen for 1,500 hours is gone. Hooray! Now that project to restore all those artifacts means that I've actually completed the professor qualification for restoring artifacts before the one for discovering artifacts. Presumably because this includes artifacts that I've gotten from special research uh, and I guess from like ancient caskets. So that's cool. We'll definitely have that no problem by the time we hit level 90. I need to start sending out teams for research then to make sure I have the researcher because that's going to be the only remaining difficult one by the time I hit level 90. Got an archaeology book here, so this might be a level up, question mark. Uh, yes, it is. 85 archaeology. All right, I have enough items here to complete the Armadillion collection and the museum version of the same collection, so I'm going to go do that. Also, I guess these are a relic? I'm not sure which one. Here's completing the museum collection. All right, lots of chronotes. And I don't think I have anywhere to put this guy. I guess I could start another collection just to get more chronotes. I think chronotes are more important to me than components at the moment. Okay, uh, figuring out what power this is. Oh, really? Maybe I have to combine it with something else? Let me see. Oh, I need to do fairy tale part three to use them. And it makes it so that urban mushroom patches don't get diseased, which would actually be pretty helpful. I'll just destroy it for now. I assume I can reclaim it. Uh, new artifacts, the fishing ones. One of these has a really useful item that I can use to get the Sticky Fingers Relic, which is the one that lets you pickpocket much faster, which I might do at some point in the future. I'm a little bummed out that the Thieving Relic that increases your pickpocketing chance is only from the Premier Store. So there's certain thieving methods that I'd really like to do, like I'd really like to pickpocket Cruxicall Knights. Um, because that might actually get me a reasonable amount of herb seeds for the herbs I need for herb lore. But I don't think I can get to 100% pickpocket chance without that stupid aura, and there's no way to get it in the normal game. Uh, but I could still probably find a way to make Sticky Fingers relevant. I have to finish getting the Menaphos reputation upgrade for that district, which might be a, a new objective once I finish this archaeology grind. Well, I'm only a little late to uh, siphoning my Madoc this time. 83k item XP is not too bad, but I'm going to go ahead and siphon it real quick. This will actually be a level this time. Here we go. Very nice. 87 invention. All right, I'm picking up the relic from Reldo. This is the Sticky Fingers one, I think. As it just so happens, I have that on me right now. On Varanot. Cool. There's Sticky Fingers. All right, uh, unearthing this for the first time. Here we go, 
goblin dorm debris. I only need weapon poison to restore some of these artifacts, which is kind of funny. I only need the two, though, and then I'll never need to make these again. So I'm just getting it out of the way. Here we go. Restore the stink grenades. And I just have to turn these into collections and moving on to the next archaeology thing. I love that the two goblin generals have different sets based on whether they're green or red. That's quite funny. Oh, man, turning that in got me collectors assemble seven. So now are six i guess so now i just need one more research team about seven more hours it's not too bad and level 90 and i'll be pr professor right when we hit 90 without having to work any harder that's fantastic another new site over here this is the animal trophies all right three items here but only two collection turn in so it shouldn't be too bad all right turning in the zamorakian 2 collection here wow that's a lot of chronotes awesome uh, and I guess I got to turn in all of them to the really annoying NPC in the Taverly dungeon. So I'm going to make that trek now. Turning in the Zamorakian 2 set here. There's a Tetra Compass piece. Cool. All right, another new cache here. Or I guess debris remains, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so there's only two artifacts here. I might finally catch... Oh, I'm so close to 86, though, which has more. Uh, one day I'll catch up, maybe. Hello, uh, archaeology 86. Just have enough. So I just finished the... Let me show you the spreadsheet. All right, so here's my archaeology collections. I finally am caught up such that I'm done. Well, I was done for a brief second <laughs> with all of the on-level materials here. But now that I'm 86, I've got some new ones, but I, I have enough to make all of these now. We're getting another farming level here, getting close to 99. There's 97 farming. Good stuff. Oh, I got Slayer 79. Uh, annoyingly, there is an event running on right now that, as far as I know, the only way it affects me is that it lets me always pick my Reaper task. That wasn't something that I was allowed to opt into. It's just always true now whenever I talk to death. Uh, I think it's this guy, Thok. Gives you a bunch of other buffs that I haven't opted into, but quite annoying that I can't opt out of the, the Reaper thing. Uh, anyway, got a Slayer level and I'm still accruing Reaper points. I'm turning in these Armadillion items and it looks like if I complete Armadillion 2, I get 75 Blueprint Fragments. I was worried I'm not going to get enough Blueprint Fragments by the time I unlock Ancient Invention to have both of them unlocked, but that should make it quite a bit easier. Uh, so now I'm off to do level 86 stuff. Necromantic Focus and Exsanguinate Spell Scroll. Okay. I think this is level 86 stuff here. There we go. It's great when there's only two artifacts. Holy moly, there's only two artifacts here, but each artifact has four or five uses. So I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be at this spot for a while. Hmm, so I missed, apparently when I finished doing all of the Zamorakian mysteries, I unlocked this guy, which gives you more materials for doing research, which I should have been using, but Oh well, I think I'm going to almost exclusively have them do the Stormguard Citadel because a lot of the materials from there are extremely annoying to get. Okay, I think I have enough of the damaged artifacts to restore everything I need. So I'm going to make all the necromantic focuses first. And I probably need to go get more materials to use all of these, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to need to go get them. I got a ton of vellum. That's really good. I need to go farm some Blood of Orcus. So I need 36 times 4. I'll take a minute. Okay, I compiled enough Blood of Orcus, which ended up getting me 62 pylon batteries uh, to finish restoring these, and then I'm going to go turn them into their collections, and then I think I'm free. I think I'm finally on level and have done every possible artifact restoration and donated it to every relevant collection, so I'm officially caught up, and I just need to pick something else to work on. Uh, it'll probably be something Armadil related so that I make sure I get enough blueprint fragments before hitting 95. Okay, turned all of these in for a good chunk of chronotes. Uh, this last exsanguinate spell scroll is needed for a mystery in carried at, so I'm gonna go do that really quick. And then I think I'm just gonna start stockpiling a whole boatload of Stormguard, Stormguard artifacts uh, to try to get as many blueprint fragments as I can. So I think I just cast the spell next to this button. Cool. All right, uh, I'm so excited to be done. For the first time since level one archaeology, I have nothing to do. I have no artifacts that I haven't restored that need to go into a collection that I've never contributed to before. Uh, I think this skill is actually pretty well designed that I got this far 
just doing all the collections and I'm, you know, on level with everything. So I think from here, if I want to do Armadil stuff, I have to decide whether I want to go for really low level Armadil stuff or really high level Armadil stuff. Uh, it's kind of hard to call. High level, I think, is probably going to be more XP, but less resources from disassembling them. I don't know. I think the resources I care more about are honestly from the lower level artifacts, not from the higher level artifacts. Uh, I need, like, historic components and stuff to make gizmo shells, and I don't know how much I actually practically need, like, vintage components. But I guess I'll just focus on XP for now. It's the easier thing to do. So I'll head to, to Armadil and do the... Hawkeye Lens and Talon 3 Razor Wings, that should be fine. About to get a level up here. Yeah, I'm gonna be sitting at this <laughs> these nodes for a long time. I don't get any new archaeology nodes, I think until 89, 87 archaeology. Okay, y'all, pretty exciting thing. I have been religiously checking my trapper every day for like months and months and months, and I finally got a dragon egg, and it happens to be a red dragon egg. I have a male red dragon egg in the bank from when I was farming red dragons earlier. So if God is kind, this will be a female red dragon and I can actually start breeding dragons. But I have a feeling given that I got 10 male chinchapas in a row, it's going to be male, but let's find out. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right. Yes, that's yes, that's very exciting. Uh, I can raise dragons finally. Let me get rid of these. I actually think I'm going to put them in the breeding pen. I guess I'll switch them to the breeding pen. It's not going to do any good right now. Get rid of these yaks. Don't need this anymore. I'll probably run dragons in the breeding pen and the giant pens. I think that's why I've been buying all this meat for so long. Just for this exact purpose. That should set me on dragons like forever. This should be another level up here. Holding on for 89 is the next level where I get something to do with archaeology. Uh, 88. actually caught my Maddox hitting level 12 for once. I almost always miss it. i go ahead and siphon it real quick and get back to it. I don't think this is a level up, although it's quite a bit more XP now that it's level 80. Yeah, 540k. Getting close to 88. I think 91 is the next level I care about for invention. Okay, so I've been doing pretty much nothing but archaeology. Still haven't had a level up. Uh, but you can see how much archaeology I've done because I've got like 16 of these Hawkeye scopes, 21 razor wings, I'm going to have to start collecting the materials I need to actually convert these over. This might be enough to get me pretty close to 90 if I can restore literally all of these, but it's going to be a big pain. The thing I wanted to report is that I now have 350 torn blueprints, and I believe once you get 95 archaeology and actually get into Howl's Workshop, you get 100 additional fragments for free, which means I have enough fragments to make all of the blueprints. Yeah, because you can make three random blueprints, and the random blueprint only gives you something you already eat or that you don't yet have unlocked, so that's guaranteed to unlock all three of them. Uh, so I can leave Stormguard, which is great, because Stormguard sucks. I hate it. Uh, let me figure out how many materials I need here. I'm going to go ahead and restore what I can first. Oh, I'm going to come just short of a level up, aren't I? I think so. Yeah. One more restore. Let's see if I can squeeze out one of the, the rope items, maybe. Okay, I can do some of these. This will be 89, which gives me a couple new nodes, I think. There it is, 89 archaeology. I forgot that I had done this. I have enough resources to make another Tetra Compass piece. We'll see what we get. All right, I got the casket here. What we get? Two XP tomes again. That's good. 50 binding contracts. That's always what I want. That's probably the most exciting thing I can get here. A master clue scroll and more things that I can't restore yet. It's okay. We got we got good stuff from that. That's good. Hey, finally get dragon manure for the first time. This is exciting. Uh, this is how you make ultra compost in RS3. So I'm gonna go muck that with these buckets. Muck out. Wow, that gives you a ton of XP. Holy shit. Are they kidding? Whoa. It's like 2,000 XP. I've been mucking this one for like almost a minute for 500 XP drops every time. Good lord. I just realized I left some invention discoveries on the table and there's like a ton of XP for it, so I might even get a level up here. Yeah. Uh, 88 invention. I'm just gonna do the rest of them. I'm doing this because I realized that I completely ran out of precious components to make siphons, and so I want to go ahead and build the tier 2 
disassembly machine and just throw all my sapphires in there because I, I don't want to do that manually. Okay, the auto disassembler Mark II is, I can easily afford it. I've got all these parts in excess, so. Uh, let's go ahead and build it. I don't know the requirements to build this machine. Oh, I have to upgrade a tier one. Okay, that's even better. So we do modify Mark II upgrade. Okay, cool. Then I manage it and I just put all of my sapphires in there. And I have to put some charge in there too, it looks like, which should be fine. All right, uh, excavating a new spot here. This one seems really convenient. It's right by a deposit box, unlike the ones I've been doing in the Stormguard Citadel for a while. So I'm just gonna try to catch up. I'm probably gonna get to 90, no problem. Yeah, I got like 70K to go. Okay, so I should be dinging 90 here. I think I've got everything I need to restore from the level 89 spots in the Warforge. There's 90. Let me go ahead and quickly unlock Professor because I've already met the requirements for it. Head to Anachronia. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a new dig site. That's cool. Uh, check qualifications. All right, ready for the ceremony. Gathered here again. Sure have. Thank you, Professor. Now I need to start saving up lots of chronotes to get the Professor unlocks, namely the Madoc Precision one. I think that means I get more energy for the thing. New special research, research associates, professor rewards. Research team increased to four, okay. But I don't wanna use my research team for a little bit because I wanna buy all the professor unlocks. Let me check how expensive those are. Finish restoring these artifacts and turn them in, see how many chronotes that puts me at. I'm gonna get a boatload of chronotes here for completing the Bandosian One collection. 10,000, pretty good. Finishing the Hitty Things collection for the first time. And there we go. I don't know why the orb counts as a Hitty Thing, but whatever. Uh, and then the other ones go to the Wise Old Man. Okay, that haul ended up producing 10,000 chronotes, which I don't think is enough to get anything that I need here. Because I have like, I've got 36k. I think I need a lot to get the Professor Maddock Precision Unlock. Let me go check. 75k, good god. Okay. I also need the Material Storage Upgrade, but that's less crucial. All right, picking up the other level 89 uh, location. Once I finish this, I'll move on to the new Dragonkin Laboratory that I just unlocked. Oh, that's kind of cool with like the red gunk everywhere. All right, the Zamorak stuff was much easier. Uh, only two items and not a lot of turn-ins for him, so I can probably head off to the new Dragonkin location here soon. I think I actually got... Yeah, I overdid it on tapestries. I forgot that I had gotten one from a uh, Tetra Compass piece, so... Restore that here. All right, completing another collection here. Anarchic Abstraction can now hang a replica piece of art in your office in the archaeology guild. Hooray. <laughs> I'm so bad about, like, cosmetic rewards in video games. They just, they mean nothing to me. And I probably should be better about that, because I know that a lot of people enjoy cosmetic rewards. All right, checking out the Orthon dig site for the first time. Oh, just, it's literally just an Anachronia teleport. Okay. <laughs> Does Mr. Mordot take me there or something? It's funny that he's been here the whole time, but he's only going to talk to me now that I'm 90 archaeology. Can't call it Fossil Island anymore. Anachronia. Orthon dig site. Orthon, oh, hey. though evidently not the only dragonkin settlement to be found on Gilinor, was both its first and its greatest. When Anachronia was brought forward in time, it gave us the rare opportunity to study Dragonkin civilization, even if only via the ruins of Orthon. 
pretty cool. What secrets might we uncover about the Dragonkin race from prehistory? And what was their life like before the Elder God curse that befell them? I'm excited to find out. Rumors abound among archaeologists of buried hordes of treasure, nefarious entities waiting to be freed into the world, technologies beyond our own. Cool, how do I get there? Uh, I'll see if I can find the entrance. Unless if they just mean that this entire facility is the Orthan dig site. Oh, this is kind of cool. So like all of the dig sites, like all of Anachronia is the, the dig site for level 90 archeology, span which is really neat. You just have to go to all different places all across the island. Um, I guess this is the first one that I'm heading to right now, I think. This is it. Altivarnus. Please let through. Okay, there's a deposit box here, thank God. <laughs> Belt, mineral pyre. I think this is the stuff that I can uncover. Let's see. A breath of fire. Cute. There we go. Arunasaur remains. Okay. Madoc hit level 12 again. I think it's getting way more item XP now. I'm just getting more XP from excavating in general. I did miss it for like 3,000 XP. Probably should just make one of those auto siphoners, but it goes in the pocket slot. It's really annoying. Restoration XP goes up pretty high. It's like 11k now per artifact, and they're not that much slower to obtain. Uh, but I'm done with everything again. I just have to figure out where I want to focus on leveling up now. I don't need to do it in Stormguard anymore. I don't need to do it in the Warforge anymore. Uh, so I guess I'll just go somewhere where I think I can get a lot of Chronotes until I unlock all the Chronote stuff I want. Okay, I'm over here doing my weeklies. Uh, so it's time for me to start working on my Chunkman account in old school again, which means I need to find something in RS3 that's AFK and that I probably don't need to record very much of. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like sit at the the uh, wisp colony, the incandescent wisp colony, and just gather a like metric shitload of divine energy. I always need it. I need it to make porters for archaeology. I need it to, you know, make divine charges. So it would probably be better if I could do that with a higher um, invention level so I can get there's like a vacuum that you can get that lets you just AFK at the individual wisp instead of having to convert them. But you know, whatever, it's fine. Um, I guess I might look into I think there's an archaeology power that's not too far off that lets you basically always benefit from uh, a gothics cash boost where you can always deposit all your memories at once. But I need to like look into where you go to unlock that. Yeah, I'll keep doing my dailies. I, I don't really get level ups from dailies anymore. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing my weeklies here. Unfortunately, I missed the monthly for September of 2023. I got confused because I did the God Statues monthly much earlier than I usually do, and then just totally spaced on my spreadsheet about doing the uh, Giant Oyster and Troll Invasion. So missed out on a bunch of XP because of that, but I'm going to try not to think about it or it's going to freak me out. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, uh, I think the amount of recording is going to go way down. Um, from your perspective, once I finish recording the bonfire account, you'll get a, a summary of everything that's happened. Um, I think regardless, before I switch over, I do want to finish getting the chronotes to unlock that Matic precision upgrade. I did gather a whole ton of uh, in Inquisitor artifacts for that purpose, because there's like a small collection of only three items that you can turn in for chronotes over and over. So I'm gonna have to gather the items to restore those. I'll probably start working on that. Finally got a hunter level from Wisp of the Grove. <laughs> it's from like weeks and weeks and weeks of turning that in. It's funny. Oh, this is cute. The uh, penguins turn into pumpkins in the month of October. I like it. Oh, they've got like an evil face. All right, here's the situation. I don't want to leave this dangling. Uh, I need to restore all of these from the Inquisitor seal remains. So I need to go gather a bunch of ancient viz uh anterior purple and i guess samite silk so i'm gonna get on that now took a minute but i got all the materials i need here to restore all these artifacts so i'm gonna do that and turn as many of them in as i can for chronotes and then i guess i should be able to finish a tetra compass i think this should be 91 archaeology there it is Just grinding out 95 quintessence is important now i can actually make portals in uh storm guard citadel a little late but Okay, I'm turning in nine collections here. Here we go. One, two, three. I just spam click. 
That's a lot of chronotes. All right, that should be more than enough chronotes here to afford the professor upgrade. There it is, Madoc precision upgrade, just barely. Now I need to save up for material storage. This is actually super annoying. Like you can't craft with banked materials and you can't craft, you can't restore artifacts with noted materials. So if you don't have space and material storage for higher level materials, you just have to move stuff out of there into the bank and then move the higher level stuff in. It's super dumb. Another Tetra Compass piece here. If you see me with this lowered resolution, it's because I'm recording the Bonfire Man at the same time and just don't have too much to talk about. I will report on this casket though, because I think these ancient caskets are still interesting and I only get one every other level or so. Okay, what we get? Just the one this time. Oh my god, some more materials I can't store. Well, some of these, actually a lot of these I can restore already, so that's nice. Oh, Bandos and Armadil pages, interesting. All right, I'm trying to get enough chronotes to get my material storage unlock here. So I'm restoring the same sets. So I'm gonna go turn them into Iblis really quick and I've got a few more to restore. It is quite satisfying to just come over here and mash click, contribute all and get a bajillion chronotes. I think I should have enough now to get the material storage upgrade. I'll pick it up here. I think it's only 60K. Yeah, there we go. Now I need to start saving chronotes to get the master archeologist set at 99, precision upgrade and the meteorite shard, but that's gonna require me to get Plague Zen to do anything with it. Need a lot of chronotes. So yeah, I'm just gonna start saving them rather than disassembling stuff if I can. I think I'm actually pretty good on invention components just from prior disassembly. 195 classic, 2782 historic. 147 time worn, 146 vintage. I think that will carry me a bit once I get to 95. Uh, so I don't have to go too crazy. But the material storage is a big deal. I'm just going to move everything back in here. All right, now that I'm all caught up on uh, all my chronotes and stuff, I'm going to go back to checking out new excavation locations here at 91 Archaeology. There's this one, which would also let me turn on the teleports. So I'll likely try to do that. This one's nice though, it's my first excavation site that's really close to a material cart in a while, so I should just be able to hang out here. Okay, it's a victory for me, I was paying close enough attention to notice right when I needed to siphon my Madoc. This will give me a level up here. Yeah, looks good. Uh, invention 89. And then I think I can restore enough things to also get a archaeology level up here. So I'm going to do that real fast. 92 archaeology. Nice, that's another dig site. Three more levels to go. All right, I should be getting a pretty big farming level here in a second. Uh, check these animals. There it is. 98 farming, I can now raise arcane apoterosaurs. So I might want to do that. Um, that would require me to do more big game hunter, which I kind of don't want to do. And I'd have to get lucky and have the next egg match the gender of my banked one, but I can at least raise the one that I have, I guess. It's my first time checking an elder red dragon. 47,000 XP, good Lord. Only now can I buy the large dinosaur pen deed. I already bought, they can breed in large pens, not that I can do anything with that right now. And let me go build this thing, which is going to use a bunch of anachronia resources, but I can at least get the clock ticking on those again. Oh, hey. That was useful. Easy casket, sure, why not? Build this paddock. Okay, and I'll set up anachronia for that. And then I'll check this guy female. I think I need meat. I've got plenty of. All right, I'm back on this archaeology thing. I'm completing another uh, collection here. Now, I think this produces a kind of useless relic power that makes it so there's no death penalty in Dungeoneering, like anybody cares. Uh, but I think you have to combine it with something else. All right, finally popping over to the 92 archaeology dig site here. Ceradoman stuff. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna do this like mystery where you turn in the rod of Asclepius. Oh, I need 10 white marble. Okay, let me go get some marble really quick. There's some right here. This will get me to level 93. Okay, let's see. Restore statue, yes. Restored, add item, add the rod of Asclepius. Open. Read Tromple's Troubling Tales. There we go. 93 archaeology. 
Hey, you just got uh, Slayer 80. You can hear the tinking of a shooting star in the background. Sorry. Just makes more sense to do it on the same computer when I'm just alt tabbing occasionally to click a star. You caught another level 12 Madoc before it went too far. Uh, this is going to be just short of a level up here. 540k invention XP. I need 56k to level 90. Getting pretty close to 94 archaeology as well. Okay, this should be 94 archaeology. There we go. I think that gives me one new dig site. I don't think I'm going to stop at 95. I'll keep going to 99, but 95 has really been the objective. I've got a lot of stuff I still need to do AFK, and archaeology seems like a good enough skill to do in the meantime. All right, starting this new level 94 archaeology site. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Is it in this room? I thought it was near here. There we go. All right, I'll be here until 95. I'm completing Red Rum Relics 1, and I think this is actually a pretty good collection for me to complete repeatedly for Tetra Compass pieces and for Chronotes, so I might start doing that because yeah, it's only four pieces at level 94, and I can get those quite easily. All right, I'm working on getting the materials for some Tetra Compasses here. I think I'm about to get level 95 finally, though, which is really exciting. Oh my god, are you serious? 512 XP to go. Okay, I should for real get the objective. I've been on this uh, little candy loop for a really long time and haven't really strayed from it. 95 archaeology. I've now unlocked ancient invention, sort of. I still have to do some things here. Um, I'm going to finish making all of these tetra compasses, turn them all in, and then I'll go. I think I have to get like another pass, a Garegi or whatever. I have to excavate that, restore it, put it on my tool belt, and then I think I can do ancient invention. All right, restoring three Tetra compasses, I'll report on the caskets. Well, I guess I'm glad I did regicide, or part of regicide, even though I didn't need to. Where I did all of that to get to the incandescent wisp colony, not knowing there was a bridge going right there. But I've occasionally had some things here, like penguins, that are, are worth coming here for, so. Okay, I've got all three. Let's open them back to back here. Um, that's a lot of salvage. Right on. I'll take it. Take the books. Seeds, that's always cool. Yeah, Crystal Triskelion, sure. I'm going to turn in these books, and then I'm going to try to get into Howl's workshop. Got like 150k XP all at once, so it's pretty cool. I am going to end up leveling at these, but right now I'm just here to get the Garagi or whatever that lets me get into the workshop. So as soon as I get that, I'm going to pop out and... Uh, craft it. Hey, I got it as the first item. That's exciting. Uh, and I already have what I need to restore it. Beautiful. Let me get out of here. All right, so we restore it here, put it on the tool belt, and then I think I can just fly into the workshop. Howl's Moving Castle workshop. Done. Add the tool belt. Let's go. I think it's like this big crystal thing that I have to go to. Maybe I have to click on one of the floating crystals in the area. Try to find it. Gravitational core, that's it. Hey, nice. Workshop of the infamous Howl. This place is pretty cool looking. I've got all my uh, blueprint pieces with me here. So I should be able to get all the blueprints I need if I can find where to go here. Let's see. I think it's this drafting bench here. Study. I might have to do that mystery first. Some extra fragments, which I don't need. But I will go do the mystery. Okay, back to the drawing board. That's kind of cool. You got a prototype god sword. Huh. Back to the drawing board is done. Sounds good. It's weird. A lot of these uh, missions don't actually do anything. Like a lot of the special research missions don't do anything. I wonder if they did more in development and then they like limited it to a handful of them. Not sure what's up with the prototype god sword, but I think I can restore it? Question mark. Looks like it. Oh, archaeology level 112. Okay, Roger. Okay, I think this drafting bench works here. Overwhelming sense of inspiration. Okay, so I think I just do random blueprint. Oh, it's 250. Oh, those are tradable, that's why. Okay, that makes more sense. I think I have to make them one at a time, and then study. 
106 invention. Ancient tools. No, I think it won't even let me make this again, right? I have 150 extra, but that's fine, I guess. Study. Yes, ancient gizmos. Study. Oh, 93 invention for ancient tools. I don't think I realized that. That's cool, though. I can still upgrade my armor. Keep uh, working on invention levels, I guess. All right, discovered ancient gizmos. It looks like once I get to 90, which is very soon, I'm really, really close to 90 invention, I can make a invention potion at 77 herb lore, which I think I can boost to, and that'll let me boost by three. Oh, now I get some more components. Yeah, that should get me to 90 pretty cleanly. Yep, there's the level 90 invention. Uh, and I'll try to see if I can make a couple of those potions. That'll be pretty helpful. Oh, that lets me do the partial potion producer machine too. That's good. Okay, I have enough classic components to make 60 ancient weapon gizmo shells. So I should be able to get precise six on my weapon at the very least. That's good. About to get an herb lore level. There it is. Herb lore 76. Um, it's about time for my weeklies. And I might try to do my monthlies ahead of time just to smoothly hit... 77 herb lore so I can make those uh, invention potions. All right, I've got some weeklies to do, uh, but I wanted to get back. I, I got distracted while I was unlocking ancient invention. So I misunderstood. It's level 93 to make ancient tools, which are like improved versions of the, the fishing rod, for example, and the hammer. Uh, I can already make ancient tool gizmos, which was what I was excited about. So I'm gonna make a few of those and see if I can get, I think I can fish for hone to six. It's uh, it's a bit of a pain, unfortunately. All right, first things first, I'm going to use my Banner of the Godless to boost to make some invention potions. I'm just going to turn all of my Snapdragons into invention potions. So I'm going to try to get all that set up first here. Okay, boosting here. Skill boost. 30 minutes. Herb lore. Thank you. Okay, I like that it's a 30-minute boost. It's perfect for this exact use case. All right, this should be enough invention potions to last me for a while i think i'll probably decant them down to a single dose they're not taking up a ton of space uh, i think i can use this to research things early like i might even be able to get like junk chance down early so that's cool i'll do that i think sadly the partial potion producer is completely not worth using because the scroll of cleansing doesn't work on it which is really annoying it's probably fine for a main but big waste of time for an iron. Now, herb lore in general just seems significantly more miserable in RS3 than it is in old school. So I'm not sure how discovery works with the boost. If I have to complete the entire discovery while the boost is still active, if it like will stop me from doing it mid prototyping, but you know, I'll give it a try, I guess. I have enough to play around with it. Let's do junk chance reduction. Maybe as long as I get past this phase, I'm okay. It would suck if I just have to accept like a shitty prototype and not get the XP associated with it, right? Like, I assume that this randomly changes every single time. I can't just like look up the combination or remember a good combination to start from on my next attempt. Well, Junk Chance Reduction is the thing I want the most, so that's good. Ooh, that automatic hide tanner sounds really good too, actually. That one I will use because there is no benefit to me tanning hides manually. It's just a pain in the ass. Okay, now my boost just decayed, so it looks like I can finish it if I start it. That's good to know. Can I use the blueprint with a boost, or does that require a native level? Log back in. Yes, acquire a blueprint. Ah, that's cool. It does work. Nice. Saves me a bank space, too, <laughs> which is actually a huge problem. All right, I'll do the ancient enhanced tools. It's really interesting. It's like they designed invention around the idea that if you came into it with a close to max herbler level, you could make the highest level invention potion that like you deserve to level the skill significantly faster because the discovery XP is nuts. And some of the perks you can get earlier via the potion are crazy. I mean, I can only get a plus three boost, but I'm going to use it every time I get an invention level now, since you only have to pay to discover. Right. And then you can just make the blueprints at, at will after that. Hide Tanner, yeah, that's gonna be... I'm gonna use that immediately. <laughs> I guess I gotta get some energy to put in there, but next time I have to go do Divination for energy, I'll set some aside to power that. Okay, I guess I do still need the boost to actually craft some of these things. I'm just gonna make all of these. Uh, the Fishing Rod-O-Matic, the Pyromatic, 
the enhanced versions of them. I don't know why it's showing me as not having this. It's weird. Can it not have any perks on it, I guess? Okay, I Googled it and it says you have to have only an unequipped, never equipped tool can be used to make the enhancer. Okay, I had to do some shenanigans, but I left and got all the items I needed and I have enhanced versions of everything. Well, I have regular versions of everything, so I'm gonna make the enhanced versions now with an uh, invention dose. Enhanced fishing rod. I guess this makes it slightly more expensive to just disassemble versus siphon, but I would still disassemble, I think. I might get back on fishing soon. That seems like a good idea. All right, enhanced ancient tools, beautiful. I think I'm gonna start by just trying to get honed six on my uh, Maddox, because I do want to finish taking taking archaeology to 99. It's nice in AFK, there's reasons to go to 99. Once I get to 99 though, I don't think I want to train it further until I can complete Plague's End so I can get the, the highest tier Maddox. I might actually transition to just going insanely hard on quests because I think I, I via skill levels, I qualify for almost every quest in the game. A couple of levels I'll have to grind up uh, when we get there. But it's, it's an upcoming phase of nothing but quests that I want to do soon, just because I'm sick of having things blocked by things like Plague's End, right? Good lord, this was like a 6% chance and I got it on the first try. I got honed 6. That's uh, that's incredible. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I can't go too hard on this because I have very few pious components, so we're going to see if I get lucky on Wise 4, Enlighten, something or other. Usually I would do this with components that I can only get from like God Wars Dungeon 2. Yeah, no. I think I want Enlightened, honestly, more than I care about Wise. Well, I think I'm going to try to get Honed 6 on at least one of my other tools, so I have an option other than Archaeology. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm going to get as lucky this time. <laughs> Pretty wild to get it on the first try there. Fortunately, I do have a ton of these sharp components, but they're not going to last very long. Especially doing this. There it is. Okay, I got one more. So I guess I'll put that on the... Fishing rod? Yeah, that's probably the skill I'm most likely to, to train next. It's the lowest compared to like woodcutting. This whole situation is another one of those examples where like I feel crazy for doing dailies upon dailies upon dailies for months and months and months. Like this is a complete waste of time. And then I get ancient invention and I need to use like 700 sharp components to get the thing I want. And it all was worth it the whole time. Reinforcing my bad behavior. <laughs> This happens a lot in this game. Okay, I got a third copy of Hone 6. I'm going to throw that on my uh, hatchet. And then I think I'm good on trying to hunt for Hone 6 because I, I don't have a mining pickaxe to put the last one. On. Expensive, but I can hunt for Furnace 4, it looks like. Try to use my remaining few gizmo shells here. I want to do this too many times. Fortune 3 seems pretty good, actually. Oh, hey, I got an invention level from all that. Wow, 91 invention. I had no idea... But that gave so much XP. Okay, I use that boost to unlock portal fairy rings and vintage components, which I think I can actually use to get the furnace four perk that I'm going for a little bit more easily. So I'm gonna try to do that really fast. There's one for furnace four. I'll put that on my fishing rod. And then again, and again. Okay, I got two of them, not bad. Something I need to go for is scavenging four, but it requires nine precious components per attempt. Uh, and I need precious components really badly for making uh, siphons, right? I only have five at the moment. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to get my machine powered back up and just throw all my noted gems in there to try to disassemble and get as many of those as I can. Because if I can get a single scavenging four on a weapon, that should service me for a pretty long time. I kindly made it so you can get at least one useful perk right when you unlock Ancient Invention, and then the other ones are quite a bit harder. But I can get Precise Six pretty much for free, it seems like. There we go. It took me seven attempts. That's not too bad. Okay, put Precise 6 on my Death Guard, and it's going to be a while before I can really use any of the other perks. I think, like, trying to get the high tier Crackling is really expensive, for example. Uh, we'll just check if there's any armor perks that are realistic to go for. Yeah, I have the perks, or I have the materials to try uh, Crackling for, but it's like a 5% chance, and I would, I would run out of materials, so... I'm just going to take that for now, take Precise 6, and say that's a pretty good DPS boost over what I had previously. That concludes the episode. Finally got Ancient Invention. I stuck to this goal without really getting distracted by other candy loops for a very long time. Ancient Invention is honestly a massive unlock for the account. The enhanced tools end up providing a huge increase in Invention XP, and some of the perks like Scavenging 4 are, are like busted <laughs> compared to what I was using previously, although I'm not going to get to enjoy the benefits of Scavenging 4 for, for quite a while. I should be back to the usual one episode per week schedule. I'm running a bit late on the next Bonfire Man episode, if you've been watching that series. 
I've only got a couple episodes of Bonfire Man left before the series is essentially done from my perspective, so main focus right now is continuing to get as much AFK activity done as I can in RS3 before I move into going super hard on questing. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye, everybody.